previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe, you can handle this, not without you. in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. When 
Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not, if that's what Rachel wants? Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down.
I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her a Hey. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, and what's the point? <sighs> it's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. 
And that other woman? My real mom? She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here, for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Honestly, I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. <laughs> you do? Yep. In fact... Anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us, right? Right.
we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. We never... That wasn't you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's... the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a... Bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... 
I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Me in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Ah, uh, better than nothing. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Huh. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should. No awesome pirate towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. <sighs> Score. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down.
feel like wearing on this breezy ass day. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you, was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I'm also glad you came home. Chloe. Sure doesn't seem like home. There's someone else's shit all over the bathroom. Well, we've always talked about needing a bigger bathroom, haven't we? Sorry, Mom. Just forget I said anything. I'm not staying long, anyway. Just here to pick up something. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe, I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I owe you an apology. 
Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... meaning to show you something. Maybe... maybe now's a good time. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Work 
with me here. a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. It's not like I need a manual, but I'm really glad it's here. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Won't do anything. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. This thing is going to the fuck up. Maybe. Sick. Pretty loose. How can I tighten it? <sighs> Much better. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from whence you came. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course.
please. I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass, too. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't... Fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now. Why you give a shit about this woman? Why do you care so much? 
Because... Fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. We were aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah! Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. 
So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But... When he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have, um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph, how's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay, sure, definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Hey. Just heard the fire went out. Went out? If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? Hey.
Chloe. I can't even express. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. son been assigned to you. I never authorized that he be seen by you. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious psychiatric... My son needs nothing. <sighs> I'm so glad Rachel's okay. Really can't wait to see her. Everything about this fire has been atypical. No kidding. Are you sure you feel that? All right then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Drew's hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh? Uh, I had a bit of trouble with work. And it's all been pretty hard. Anyway, Drew managed to scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. I'm glad things are starting to work out then. Oh, no. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Uh, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I, I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I, uh... Don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. They actually have helped me out. Money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh... I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's... it's all good. 
Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> just, uh, trying it out. Sometimes you've just got to do something new. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? No, not at all. If anything, I should have thought about what happened to you before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. That'll be an interesting read. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. All right. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back. In a little while. <laughs> My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. 
Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll, I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe, for everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's... different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's... uh... It's nice. Uh, how have you been? Like, uh... since last night? Holy shit. The Tempest was just yesterday? Yes? Uh, so much has been happening lately. I, I actually brought Rachel here just a while ago, but it feels like forever. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. God, I guess I'll stop by after I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right, of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. 
Nothing we can't handle. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously, something is going on. I swear, man, everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? I need to search this office for any communication. I'm not gonna be able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully there's a key around somewhere. The big one. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? James sure keeps lots of files on people. Best dad? <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. found you. <sighs> Welcome to Shadyville. to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. 
It could be about Sarah. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? <sighs> Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? I say. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is, unless I send him a picture. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel? This... So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. James sure keeps lots of files on people. This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Arcadia Bay's least wanted.
If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Oof. Better not touch that again. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? Okay, if I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Payment? Fuck. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Holy shit. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Shit. Does James even know what he's doing? 
Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey. Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I... I can't talk much about it. It has to do with Rachel's mother. Her real mother. And that explains you breaking into the DA's home and having this? Believe it or not, yes. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end, as usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. Y you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot. I, I promise. No one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. Dude, you, you know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but... I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? 
When Max left, when your dad died, no one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. You mean here? Specifically? Like, uh, the Amber House? I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're the one who's keeping me here. At the Arcadia Bay DA James Amber's house. You're acting strange. What's going on? What? Nothing. I... What are you... Ugh, you bitch! Can't you see? I just want to help you! You're going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No! You idiot! What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. Because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff mom doesn't know about me. So you probably lied too. Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure mom would never fall in love with someone like David too. 
Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? I wish you told me when you could have. You don't like the perfect relationship we had? I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up. No word. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Shit. Is that blood? Frank? Frank! This is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Where the hell is Sarah? Don't tell me what to do. No more beer. No more time. I've got to keep moving. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand? Why does your he... Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. 
the mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to... Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? Can we just talk about what's going on here? Okay. What should we talk about? Whatever James told you, Sarah doesn't deserve this. She didn't do anything wrong. You think I give a shit about what she did? My job is to make problems go away. And she's the problem. Look, I, I just think... <sighs> Talking's over. Leave her alone. Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now. What do I do with... Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 ho. I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She... I saw you in the play. You were funny. Thanks. Sit. Sarah. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry. Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with... <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that... Rachel can never know. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. 
a father who cares for her. James is a liar. James who... is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store and a truck ran a red light. And that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize... I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <sighs> he doesn't it's deserve... It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Don't you want to see her? You came here for it. You got sober. You deserve the chance to know your daughter. 
Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Hey. What's wrong? I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny. You seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. Maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know wherever she is, she loves you very much. How do you know that?
Because... Why should she be any different from the rest of us?